hello space engineers how are you guys doing so this is my very first gaming video so please forgive me if i stutter or get stuck thinking uh, just installed the recording software and giving it a try so this is about a conveyor belt that i built and i built it in large block as you can see it's huge it's uh, 240 meters conveyor belt. Inspiration come, came from a video that I saw on Spitz's channel. He built a small block conveyor that moved absolutely smooth, but in creative mode, of course, and with damage off. And uh, so I thought, well, let's see if we can do a large block version and see how well that works this is of course not my first build probably changed the design three times maybe four so let's get into the details let's get a size comparison so that's pretty big i didn't count the hinges i don't know how many there but as you can see, I have myself right here, 245. So, a little bit of explanation. This is a support guide. Uh, on one other version, I had one here below there, but that didn't work out too well. There was not enough space for the surface of the conveyor. So I had to eliminate it. As you can see, I'm using double rotors one on each side because otherwise with the weight impossible to keep those wheels straight and the belt would just slip off and as you can see it wiggles a lot by the way the rpms is 30 rpm so max speed and no clang fair no nothing happening looks quite smooth actually so if i hop on there Well, it wiggles a bit, yeah, it, it wiggles a little bit, but it's actually not too bad. So if we look at the landscape, and I don't move the camera, it looks fine. So let's see. Oh, we cannot outrun that one now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, we can't outrun. Nope. No. Anyway, so a little, bo little bit more about the design so on the way back they slide just on the surface and I had to reduce the tension the tension was initially all the way out and those pistons they would bend but it would wiggle more so I kept on re refining the settings for this and figured that this tension right here was good so as you can see it's a hinge two blocks a hinge two blocks and instead of what Splitzy did he had actually here on these blocks he had some more blocks up to here that would keep the conveyor in between some guides that guides were installed on the wheel I tried that first with this design no way it wouldn't work it would just break explode so I came up with this, but first I had used square blocks instead of these triangle blocks and would get stuck on the wheel. So I switched to those triangle blocks and it seems to be working pretty awesome. What else is there to say about the design? Well, not a whole lot. Um, I was able to copy and paste segments Splitzy said he wasn't able to. I didn't try in small box. I built uh, a straight line of probably six, maybe eight hinges and two blocks in between. Copied and pasted them to each other. And it worked fine. So I, I, I pretty much spread them out on the bottom here. Copy and paste them on the bottom. And then I put a battery on them. And then this one I would turn 90 degrees up. And then on the way back, I did not 
have the support so with the weight that came down and it got pretty interesting to get him back up on the field but it, it worked it worked so to have some fun we're gonna switch up damage but I'm gonna reduce uh, speed to 5 rpm because I know that at 30 it just blow up in a second and let's even go with 4 switch off and now I gotta go individually because two are in the opposite. This will be minus four and these two I do four and rotors and switch them back on again. As you see it wiggles a bit, slips a bit It won't last long, and you can see the sparks there. So let's have some fun. And I think that was Alt F10, adding tools, and then I'm going with global permissions, allow damage. Boom, that did not last long. So, as you can see, as you can see, in a <laughs> yeah, there is no way you can build something like that in 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 a normal world. All right, I hope you had fun. Try and build one like that; it's fun. See you guys.